There are some very common forms of self-hypnosis that many people may not even be aware of as self-hypnosis. According to researchers and scientists these forms of concentration are actually considered to be forms of self-hypnosis. Thus suggesting that all of us at one point or another throughout the day have used self-hypnosis. Even the critics and skeptics that do not believe in self-hypnosis have actually taken part in a form of self-hypnosis. According to what the researchers and scientists are calling forms of self-hypnosis, reading a book is a form of self-hypnosis. By definition of extreme concentration or a trance-like state, reading a book does fall into a form. After all, when we read a book we do become engrossed in the book and allow our minds to conjure up images that go with what we are reading. While reading a book you have conjured up the images and your emotions will also follow suit to fit the book. Researchers and scientists also show that watching a movie is also a form of self-hypnosis. The trance-like state that we enter when we become intentional in what we are watching along with the emotions that surface while we are watching a movie is a form of self-hypnosis. Almost every one of us has entered that form at one time or another throughout a week. Daydreaming is another thing that they are terming as a form of self-hypnosis. Many of us have entered into that form at one time or another during the day. After all, it is hard to be at work and not allow our minds to wander off to a better place. Or be driving for a long distance and not find our minds drifting off somewhere else. So once again scientists and researchers have shown us that we all have used self-hypnosis, whether we wanted to or not. Another form of self-hypnosis is intense concentration on a project. A lot of what we do is done with a conscious mind. But when we are working hard on a project and we are being extremely intent in what we are doing, our subconscious mind will help out with the problem-solving aspects. When our subconscious mind starts to help out, then this becomes a form of self-hypnosis. Scientists and researchers are also adding sleeping to be considered a form of self-hypnosis. During the day we use our conscious mind to get through the day. Although when we become intent on something our subconscious mind comes around to help out, our conscious mind is still there. When we are asleep however, our conscious mind leaves and we only have our subconscious mind. With our conscious mind leaving and our subconscious mind being all that is left during sleep, then it is clear that this is one form of self-hypnosis. Self-hypnosis is used for many things and now as you can see self-hypnosis comes in many forms. Some of these forms you probably did not even realize were a part of self-hypnosis. With this information critics and skeptics can now take a new look at self-hypnosis and see that it is a part of all of us. Click the link in the description below to visit the forgotten laws to learn more.